Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It could be a huge Monday of content inside of FIFA 22 today because with footies in full swing, we are looking forward to the historic return of one of the most favored FIFA packs via SBC that we have had ever in any FIFA. It was dropped last year multiple times and it's in the code right now. It is the 85 times 10 and I'm going to tell you why I think this SBC could be coming today. So I want to take a look at that and of course it's a Monday, right? What do we know about Mondays? We've been getting swap tokens on Mondays. I would expect to see even more drop today. Last The last three weeks on Mondays, we've had big sets of eight tokens at a time drop via objectives. I think that could potentially happen today as well. And we're going to talk about what other content could we get. We already have upgrade packs. We've got the 82 plus player pick. We've got the 80 plus player pick. These are usually SBCs that drop on Mondays, but with these already being out, what in the world's going to happen today? I also want to take a look at the market because batch one cards like these Mbappes, Neymars, Coutinho's, everything that is in packs continues to drop. And some people like myself included might want to buy out, buy some of these cards and at least try them out right at these insanely low prices, 950 K for Usman, uh, you know, but fantasy card who was once well over two three million coins just you know about a month ago i want to take a look at some of those prices on the market as well and lead you through how i think they might be moving later on this week so if you're excited for a potential 85 times 10 hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new let's start off by talking about that and just wrap that into the whole discussion of what kind of content could we get today on monday again like i mentioned mondays are always upgrade pack days we already have the player picks. This pack code that was added last week, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday of last week, and it's now been updated for a new text change. Uh, we get the gist of what EA is doing here. The 85 times 10 is added to the code. Now, if you remember, the last two weeks on Monday, we have had the 85 times 5, the little brother to the 85 times 10. I think it's time for EA Sports to level up. We're in footies now. The content's been pretty solid. Yesterday was a bit quiet. We'll take a look at the Havertz and the Icon player pick in a second. But it's time for EA to level up the content and drop this 85 times 10. It's in the code EA Sports. Do it. And I think it really could be dropping today because, like I said, the last two weeks on Mondays, we have been getting those 85 times 5s. Now it's time for EA to level it up. If they drop this SBC today... What is it going to look like? Well, I went back to FIFA 21 and took a look at some of the SBCs that we had dropped for the 85 times 10. We had the SBC four different times. The first time that it was dropped, it was non-repeatable and it costed about 170,000 coins to complete. I believe it was an 87 rated squad is what it costed. Maybe a team of the season was required in there as well. I don't quite remember, but I think it was one squad, 87 rated, and that was your 85 times 10. But like I said, the first time it was dropped, it was non-repeatable. What EA has been doing though recently with the Shapeshifter SBCs, and you guys of course will probably remember this, is they did the 85 times 5 repeatable every 24 hours so you could go out and you could do it once a day. I hope that EA would start there with the 85 plus times 10 as well. If they just drop it one time today, non-repeatable, kind of like they did yesterday with a 93 plus moments player pick. If they do something like this where you do it once and then it's gone for their whole rest of the week, that would be an L. EA Sports, you need to make this at least repeatable once per day. I really don't expect it to be repeatable and then be um, able to be repeated like unlimited amount of times like with the campaign bag and the footies player pick i really would be surprised if they would drop another big sbc that was repeatable with no max number of times you could do it i think it would just be repeatable one time every 24 hours and i think that ea would probably make the cost around that same price threshold that they have done in the past year with the 85 times 10 as well. Every time that it's been released, except for the very end last year in September when it was super cheap. But most of these right here, I think were pretty accurate price-wise. 170, 180,000 coins. It would be very craftable with the 82 plus player picks that are out right now. Would it make SBC fodder go up? I think that it could. I mean, this is the, the tier of fodder right now that is kind of down. If they were to release an 85 plus times 10, your 86s, 87s, and 88s, I think would probably go up a decent amount. And even some of your 84s and 85s, as people have higher rated stuff in their club that they have been turning into these SBCs, 
um, or that they have been packing from all the other upgrade packs and, and stuff that is out in the game right now. So I think that some of the cards that are right around the rating of whatever this SBC would be uh, requiring today would probably have a bit of a jump in price. But that's really the theme for fodder for the whole rest of this week, especially on the low tier, 83s to 86s. I think there's only one way with fodder prices this week, and that is up. 4.5K, like I said in yesterday's video, I could see 84s, 80. Uh, you know, 84s and 85s going to 6K and 11K respectively if we continue to have good content throughout the rest of this week because the menu grind right now, it's just great. There's so many player picks to do, so many SBCs that require fodder and people want to do them, people want to get them done and an 85 times 10 today would include more demand for those cards. So again, I'm not sitting here I'm not sitting here trying to tell you that I think 100% that the 85 times 10 is coming today. I do not know if that SBC is dropping today on Monday, but I think just with how they've been doing content the past two, three weeks, it's very, very likely that we would get the 85 times 10, and that is very exciting. So that's kind of think, kind of where I'm thinking about that SBC today. Now let's talk more Monday content. What else would be dropping on the game today besides that? Obviously. Right now, the token situation, we are near the end. One week from today is the end of Summer Swaps number one. And you, if you take a look actually in the uh, SBC section, I think it's July 25th, which is one week from today, you see that these go away. Expires in seven days for the 84.25 and for the 85 times 20. These are gonna be going away in one week's time. That means EA Sports need to hurry up and give us the rest of our tokens. At the current moment, we are sitting on 41 tokens. So we have had 41 tokens released as of right now when I'm recording this video on Monday before content. If they do what they have done in the past three weeks on Mondays, they would be dropping us eight more tokens, which would take us all the way to 49 out of 50 tokens released for the summer swaps token tracker. And then that would just leave them with one more SBC or objective token to release throughout the rest of the next couple of days, and then it would be over. I think there is potential for EA to drop a big chunk of tokens today, so keep an eye out on that objective menu side of things because I know a lot of you guys may be trying to get to your last couple items that you want to redeem from Summer Swaps or maybe catch up a little bit. I think today's gonna grant you a great opportunity to do that with probably, I mean, we can honestly take a stab at what objective it's going to be. We can probably say it's going to be Summer Swaps number four. They're going to give us a week to go out and play a couple squad battles and some friendly games. And hopefully it's another eight tokens. And that would mean that we are this close to the end. We would literally be one token away from finishing Summer Swaps um, at today after content if they release those eight tokens. So the last thing that we would hope for is an easy SBC uh, later on this week to get us 50 out of 50. And I would like EA Sports, especially if they're going to do more of the objective-based Swarmer Swaps tokens, I would like to see them drop those today and then drop that last SBC pretty soon and at least give us a couple days of all the tokens being released. Since there were 50 tokens in total, that's a lot of tokens. I hope that EA does give us a little bit of time um, before or after all 50 tokens are released to go out and let us decide what we want to do, give us time to complete those gameplay objectives, complete those SBCs, get that done so that we can turn in our swap tokens for whatever we're grinding for still. Like for me, it's the 8425 and the 85 times 20. And if I have any leftovers, which I probably won't, then maybe I'll do like a shapeshifters player pick or something along those lines. But for me, it's the big two fodder packs that I'm gonna get done and I'm waiting for today's objectives to drop to get those. So that's kind of the update on the summer swaps tokens. Now let's go back in time because I think that's probably all the content that we're going to get today. Unless EA Sports is going to drop us a surprise SBC. I think that we're done with the footies favorites for right now. I don't think they can get too far ahead of themselves before getting into this five week promo, uh, dropping too many player SBCs too early. I don't think they can do that. So I think for player SBCs, at least for now, we should be done. Usually Mondays are not player SBC days. Um, in that light. Now let's look at yesterday, right? Again, that's kind of all the content I'm expecting today. Yesterday's content, we did have the Kai Havertz second place. Does it say here in the description? Kai Havertz won the vote. Well, technically he got second place, but it says complete this SBC to earn his premium footies item. Very nice upgrade for the Kai Havertz card. 
five star weak foot, four star skills, high medium left footed, and he is a premium footies item. Once again, he's got finesse shot trait, he's got outside foot shot, really, really good traits, pretty solid card, and a really good price considering how important the links are with these premium footies cards that have the exact same links as the hero. So that to me, especially if you're a Chelsea fan right now in this game, all the leaks came through, through uh, true. You got Havertz, Reese James, and you got Mason Mount, so you're loving life. So that's a GG, and e honestly, GG for EA Sports that we now know that they're going to drop both of those um, voting winners. They're going to drop the player pick of three players, and whoever the two are that win are going to get those premium footies items, which is very, very, very nice. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think the price point here on this SBC is pretty solid, and it looks like people on Footbin agree. They're dropping this SBC a... Just a barely positive upvote to downvote ratio. 1,000 upvotes, 848 downvotes, 200K. Very, very craftable. Now, that was the better piece of content from yesterday. The other content that we had was the 93 plus icon moments player pick, and it is non repeatable. One time, that's it. All I can say about this is A, it's overpriced at 516,000 coins, and B, this is just content that does. Honestly, if you think about it this way, we talk about cards that are in line with the power curve when they get released, right? This is SBC content that is not in line with the power curve of where other SBC content is. When you have other cards, other think about how many other SBCs you could do right now for 500,000 coins. You could do Kai Havertz and Luis Diaz for less than it would cost you to do the 93 plus moments player pick. You're getting two end game players that just got insane footies upgrades and in this 93 plus moments player pick you might get somebody like Puyol right that's the kind of gamble situation and from a value standpoint that is where I think icon moments player picks in this game are lacking at the moment now also this again we talked about it in yesterday's video too this is just this is just too little too late honestly we would have loved to see this earlier on in the year or at least make this repeatable with no limit so that we have another one of those player pick SBCs to grind into and it's just too expensive 516k for this again like I said the value is just so much worse if you compare it even to like these footies player picks or the Premier League or tots shapeshifters player pick this is 118k to do and you're going to get a tots or shapeshifter end game premier league only team of the season uh or shapeshifter card right there's great value in that the footies campaign bag player picks like that icon moments player pick i just can't stress it enough how honestly how bad value it is and it's just unfortunate because we love the icon moments gamble some of you guys i know out there still like to do these sbcs and i totally understand it but at this stage of the game in july icons just don't cut it 95 percent of the time and there's so many other players available that do and that are cheaper so that's why i would do havertz and luis diaz 10 times over before doing an icon moments player pick especially with the other player picks for footies that are out right now so that was a bit of an l for yesterday's content also, just kind of a funny one. This Wijnaldum to PSG. I mean, I like how EA is releasing these old challenges and giving us packs. Even for pack SBCs, they gave us a token as well. But, like, I remember the Wijnaldum to PSG. This SBC being out, like, the first week of the game. Like, this was one of the first SBCs that was dropped on FIFA with this once to watch SBC at the very beginning of FIBA 22. And I kind of like that, right? I'm a fan, EA, drop more of these, whatever ones that we're gonna remember the names of, drop some of these throughout the rest of footies. I think that's, it's a small thing, but it's kind of cool. So I am totally fine with that. So that's kind of an overview of yesterday's content on Sunday. And of course, uh, how I think Monday today is gonna go. We just got a sale, let's talk about some market. Okay, I finally sold a Messi. I have not traded at all. Since the weekend, I did buy a Timo Werner for eight, uh, no, 730,000 coins. And I do now see that Timo Werner is on the rise. Shout out to all the Chelsea links for sure. Reese James helping him out, Havers and Mason Mount helping him out. But that's why I held on to that card, selling some messies for a profit. But cards that are not going up at the moment are the cards that are in packs. And this is one that I wanted to look at because in yesterday's video, I was like, man, Zlatan is 190, like 200,000 coins flat. And I knew that these guys were going to go lower. And that is exactly what they have done this evening. But it's not just Zlatan. It's all of these cards that are in this batch one. Usman Dembele was 1.1 mil yesterday. This guy is now 950 and he's got a lot of supply still. Alan St. Maxman was like 1.2, I think. 
He's still right around like 1.1 1 .1 something. Uh, but these prices are all down 1.13. I could go across Footbin and just take a look at so many of these impacts cards that are down further. Now, could there be a few bounce backs today? Yes, there could be a few slight bounce backs. Not nothing too crazy in my opinion. Um, you know, I would probably try to look at out of packs cards if you're trying to trade right now in this game. Honestly, that Zlatan card is a little bit interesting to me. But the one thing I don't like about the Zlatan is it's not Premier League. And right now in this game, Premier League is everything. You see the fluctuations, right? Coutinho was still 390. He still maintained a pretty solid price. He was down at 375, went back to 400. He was 362, went back to 400 again. So these cards that keep bouncing around in price that are even in packs that are Premier League, that's kind of where I would try to focus my trading at the moment. If you're really trying to make coins by flipping cards on the market, focus on Premier League cards, even if they are in packs, because again, everything right now is Premier League based. Look at the top four cards on Footbin. They're all footies premium items, which means they green link to anybody in the Prem and their Premier League cards. So that's just kind of where the hype is at the moment. And I think that's why you've seen some cards like where's Cancelo? Cancelo team of the season just continues to, to stay at a very high inflated value. He was like 200,000 coins. And now he's back up to 250 just because um, people need a left back link in these squads that they're building, like a link to Luis Diaz. It's a green link to Cancelo. That is why he started to go up on Friday initially. And then more and more links come out. These Premier League cards are just in the demand so that also is going to create an opportunity for maybe some of your shapeshifter cards whatever league is going to be next maybe start to think about okay if we start seeing leaks about if bundesliga or la liga are next think about a guy for la liga like valverde or morientes or some of these other cards from other leagues that would have a lot of value if the next league that is focused on um especially if it's a hero shapeshifter would get a green link there that could be pretty big. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind market wise. But honestly, I mean, I've been saying this multiple times over in the past, you know, a couple of days. If there's a card that you want to go ahead and try out, then just go out on the market and buy it. It's that time of the year. Like I want to buy Zlatan, right? And I told myself, okay, if I saw Zlatan at like 150K, then I would literally ask no more questions and just buy the card. Now, right now he's not quite 150K, but he is down, so I think I might try to snag one of these, like maybe even at 160, because I'm not trying to make coins. I just want to go out and try a card that I have not been able to try at this year, and these cards being re-released back into packs is helping allow that situation happen. So I'm kind of a fan of that one, so I'm going to snag me a Zlatan, I think, this evening just to try him out, and hopefully that EA drops some like Serie A um, objectives or something Maybe today with like the summer swap objectives, they would drop something Serie A. That way I would have a reason to use him other than just the, um, you know, good old friendly match just to try out a card. Also, I don't know if any of you guys are grinding this footies Premier League Cup because a lot of people are still not very happy with this requiring 18 players from the same club. It's crazy that this was allowed even. It's only out for four more days, so it's going to stop at the end of the week, which is interesting. Uh, so if you're going to try to get this done, which I would only have 25 games available to me, so I'm not going to be able to get all the way to the end. And I don't even know if I'm going to try to grind this out because I do have a nice Spurs team, but it's it's just tough. And it's a lot of time. I barely am finishing weekend league at the moment, and it's July. So I wish that that, that Premier League game mode, that Footies Cup, would have been golden goal. I think a lot of us would have wished that, but... You know, it is what it is. If you've gotten anything sick from those player picks, let me know down in the comments below. I would absolutely love to see that. But we're going to end today's video with a quick player pick because that's better. Last night on the video, they gave me a rip art and I didn't even choose him. Thank you, EA Sports. Objective player picks, by the way, are cracked. That's the only thing that I would say is um, if you are grinding the footies cup, if you have time to grind that, then go ahead and do so because it does seem like all year this has been the thing. But especially with all these special cards and packs, the um the packs that come out of objectives just seem to have better pack weight which seems weird but it seems also there's some sort of correlation there so i don't think there's any lightning rounds going on right now oh wow there's like nothing in the store goodness gracious ea no money for you huh gold packs we'll do a preview pack um but i'm i'm ready i'm ready to get back and grind a bunch of player picks because i have not done many 82 plus player picks and i am excited to go ahead 
and spam a bunch of those this week. Once we sell a couple cards, we'll have a few more coins and we're just gonna start buying golds and we're gonna start crafting. I got a lot of SBCs to craft, two Premier League or Tots player picks. I've got more of these that I wanna do. I would like to do Havertz. Uh, there's there's plenty of SBCs that I want to get done. Even, even like Correa or Fernandinho that I haven't done yet, who is still a beast. I think destroys me every time that I play him. I want to get a few more of these SBCs done. So that's going to be my focus this week. There's still a lot to do on the game, in my opinion, with the crafting potential that is there. So I'm looking forward to it, and I am excited for it. But today, that crafting potential could even go to another level if the 85 times 10 is dropped. So if you're excited for that potential SBC today, make sure once again to hit the thumbs up on the video. If you did enjoy, drop a subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here as well. And comment down below what your best pack pool of footies is because... I know there's been some good ones. My best one's probably been 93 SSKDB. I think that's my best one. Or like I, I packed another 93 rated card, but SSKDB I think was the best one. Since footies has started, that's been my best pull. So let me know what yours is down below in the comments. But happy Monday. Can't wait to see you on the stream. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.